Oi, 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 oi. I have come across something quite interesting. Um, so, DBS Nerd, I believe, made top 10 strongest Baki characters, and I'm about to debunk that real quick, right? Um, the list is more, all, more or less alright, but um, where he places each character, like, we need to talk about that. Today, I'm gonna talk about Baki 2018 top 10 strongest characters in the series. So, without any further discussions, let's start the video. Without further ado, let yours truly start the video, alright? So, perf perfect way to start the video, I must say. You know, bravo. That's the, on that's the only respect I'll give him throughout this whole thing. Anyway, this fucker decides to place Oliver on number 10. Oliver is a beast of a man. He takes in 1 lakh calories daily. He is named the strongest man in the USA. He is in jail, but he has complete freedom and helps the government to catch the criminals. He has brutal attacks that could completely destroy bones in a person's body with one hit. And also one of his defensive skills. Allow him to turn into a ball and repels all the attacks that are coming at him. He was able to slam someone down so hard that he affected the whole entire planet. He was able to slam someone down so hard that he affected the whole entire planet. The reason I slowed that down, right, is because that's gonna be important later on. Because that feat that he mentioned about Oliver, um, some of the characters that he places lower on the list have nothing on that. I, I mean nothing. So he has decided to place Retsu on number 9. This is a bit saddening for me because I actually like Retsu, but long story short, that doesn't make him number 9. Number 9. Retsu Kayo. Retsu Kayo is a man who came in completely annihilating the contestants during the tournament. He was one of the most skilled fighters early with his quick jabs, powerful one-inch punch and his spinning lotus, which makes him jump on his opponent's shoulders, then rotates his body, slapping their neck. Retsu is a fighter of Chinese Kenpo, and he has underwent serious training to get where he is now. I never said how Retsu was stronger than Oliver. I just wanted to point that out. All you said is that he works really hard. That doesn't explain how he's stronger than someone who slammed somebody so hard that the entire world got affected. He also put Dopo I'm right after Retsu Kayo. Those are two obvious people who have nothing on Oliver. I just wanted to say that real quick. Anyway, I don't really need to explain that much. I'ma just go to Kaku and the others, you know. The list is pretty much alright when it comes to those seven. Um, it's just like where he places the characters. Kaku, Kaku Kayo is called the supreme grandmaster of Chinese martial arts. With his experience from many battles, he was able to hit and send Yu-Gi-Oh flying. He's really old being, but he's still able to perform powerful strikes. So powerful that it is able to send a man of Yu-Gi-Oh size flying through the air. Kaku is heavily underestimated because of his age, but he is truly not one to mess with. He enjoys fighting strong fighters, which is why he didn't care if he died against Yu-Gi-Oh because it was an honorable way to go out. With his wide range of skills and techniques, Kaku easily made this top 10. Hold the fuck up, did I just hear that correctly? So, so he said Kaku um, would willingly die to the hands of Yujiro Hanma. Yet, um, despite him saying this, um, Kaku like purposely so stopped his heart. So say that he is the strongest creature on the whole earth, right? No master, we don't even care about the results of the fight. Just how come you're still alive? Ha ha ha, surprise. I just, I don't understand. Because he checked you, the doctor said you were dead. Dead, right? My heart wasn't beating then. My pupils were dilated too. That was a perfect clinical death. I've also heard that the doctor confirmed the time of my death. As a result of my actions, I avoided an unstoppable and destructive punch. By faking my death, I stopped the fist, which would have killed me for real. Um, just like it was shown in this video, um, like. Um, I apologize, I apologize to Anime Fight Club, by the way, um, I used a video clip of his and, you know, I didn't even ask permission or anything. Anyway, um, Anime Fight Club, big thanks, you know, for, for the manga panels that I was able to get, though. Because, like, his manga, like, um, you know, too much work. Anyway, um, Kaku obviously stopped his heart on purpose to not die by the hands of Yujiro. And yet this fucker wants to claim otherwise. Get your information right if you're gonna get, if you're gonna do a top 10 list of the strongest fighters. I think that would be very important to put in. That's really all I have to say though, whether or not Kaku can be all of it's a bit debatable. Um, I remember this one listing that said that Kaku and Baki were the only ones who could damage Yujiro, but um, that's complete bullshit. Other people have damaged him in the- well, only one person, um, Musashi, and that's with his swords or some bullshit. 
Okay, so I've bitched enough about Kaku, so my kids- I apologize, I'll talk about, um, the number six, Pickle. Pickle, you know, Pickle is a freaking beast, that's all I gotta say. Pickle is a savage beast. He grew up hunting down dinosaurs and living off them. His fights have to be one of the most gory fights in the manga. He was almost unstoppable taking down the top tires in the series. His amazing durability only complemented his devastating striking power. He sees his opponents as prey and he will do whatever he needs to do to kill them. But in some occasions, he attempts to eat them live. He uses his brute force to completely rock his opponents. He has to be one of the most dangerous in the series. Okay, Goreto, me and DBS nerd agree on something. Pickle is number 6. Pickle is stronger than Kaku, Oliver, and the way we would go about proving this is that Baki beat Oliver in Son of Ogre. A Baki that got arguably stronger had trouble against Pickle. And Kaku outright stated that he would purposely stop his heart against Pickle. Sensei is stepping forward. I would rather... Oh, this is Ka uh, Kaku talking. I'd rather stop my heart on the next swing without hesitation. Alright, so... I've bitched too much about Pickle. I'm gonna make this video a lot longer than it has to be because I'm, I'm bitching the whole time. I'm sorry. Um, let me stop. Anyway, um, after Pickle comes Matobi, I'm not even gonna show that part because, um, it's kind of a waste of time to do that. Um, Matobe, sure, stronger than Pickle. And then Baki comes after Motobe, which is good. Number three, two, and one, those are debatable. Um, I, I would say that putting Yuichiro Hana on the list is a bad idea because Yuichiro is kind of featless. The only feat we have of him is, um, is him um, taking out the whole US army along with Yujiro with hands, and that's about it. Other than that, we can't really go off of anything because, um, there's people, um, like Musashi. Like, Musashi can, can be stronger than Yuji- Uj Matobe, for God's sakes, can be stronger than Yujiro. Even Baki, because, um, Baki was actually stated to be near Yujiro's level in Son of Ogre. Based off of feats and statements, I can, um, I can say- Like, the ending of this video was actually nice, um, just explain your points a bit more, and I would be more happy with it. Um, the way the video started definitely sucked though. Um, you place Retsu Kayo off of Oliver off of nothing. I'm still on that. Um, Dopo Orochi, Dopo Orochi shouldn't be there. Um, it, using the characters on the list, Dopo and Retsu should definitely be on the top. But if we were to use like characters from from outside of the list, um, I would bring in Hanayama because Hanayama gave Musashi trouble. Um, well, this kind of concludes our video. Um, farewell. Arrivederci. I I would go longer, but I don't want my video to be too long. Um, it would help if it were, was long, but you know, too much work. Stop him quickly. Replace your pulse, kill off your kidneys. You're so bossy, but no one's taking my trophy. So, fuck the shit. I'm a bust on the tip. Warming up, so I won't take long, bitch. We could go north, Sussex, a we come bump. Showing some of the most impressive feats in the series. So guys, this list is up to date in the Baki series. This is based off everything I've seen so far. And if I get something wrong, do correct me. But please, provide reasoning, facts and example in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. This I like how he said. Sorry about that audio cutoff. Anyway, I like how he said that. We're free to disagree with him, yet he said, yet he disabled the comments. I get that some people um will say nasty things to you in the comments, but um, you're. You still, you still shouldn't disable your comments because, um, a few nasty comments um shouldn't be enough to make you disable them. I think you were just afraid of people disagreeing with you and and like proving you wrong and like proving that you do no research at all